Rayshard Brooks is the next one that we want to talk about. We got an update on this. Rayshard, Rayshard Brooks's funeral was held in Atlanta at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. That happened yesterday on Tuesday, June 23rd. And, you know, if you as a quick recap for Rayshard Brooks, this was the one that I covered last week. I think it was last week, sort of at length. We talked about, uh, you know, Rayshard was the guy who stopped for DUI. He was investigated. He was compliant. He did all the field sobriety tests. He blew in the breathalyzer, all of those things. Had a very long, long criminal record. And he, uh, when the officers were putting his hands behind his back, they, they arrested him and he he lost it you know he just kind of snapped and he didn't want to go back to prison i think he was on probation so this the the situation would have been if he was on probation and got an arrest for a new criminal charge they would have booked him into custody he, he would have been in violation of his probation and they could have sent him back to jail or to prison depending on what he had going on so he did not want to be involved in that obviously he's drunk they just breath tested him and he runs uh he gets into an altercation he runs away has a taser in his hand, is kind of aiming the taser back a certain direction. Uh, another officer pulls his gun, fires, shoots him twice in the back, kills him. He's dead on the ground right there. Covered it also. I think that Officer Rolf uh, we actually ran up and kicked him when he was on the ground, bleeding out. Uh, horrendous situation. Again, you know, one of those things where it's like, did this, did this have to go this way? No, it did not. Of course it did not. Uh, and what happened? Unlike many of the other ones, the officer was charged actually quickly, and that led to a lot of problems. So the prosecutor, Paul Howard, was the county attorney who's in charge of you know, f prosecuting this cop, does so, and then Atlanta just melts down. They, uh, after Rayshard was killed, they burned down the Wendy's and they started a riot. Rayshard Brooks uh, you know, died, I think, that same night. This prosecutor Paul Howard files charges and then the police department say yeah we're not going to go to work anymore we're just going to call out hey we all got the flu remember the blue flu cops calling out they don't want to show up to work oh you're gonna you're gonna come against us you're gonna impugn the police department well how about we just let crime overrun your streets you know we say that we swear an oath and we swear we say that we're going to protect you no matter what and all these things but as soon as one of our officers is under attack or under threat or facing charges, we're just going to bounce. We're not going to hang out anymore. We're going to we're going to take our toys and we're going to go home. And you guys are on your own. You get to play ball by yourself. So that's what happened in Atlanta, which led, of course, to more criticism against Paul Howard. Now, Paul Howard, I don't know much about the man. My understanding he's he's also under investigation for uh, a number of different things for. Uh, ethics violations and whatnot so you know think what you will about this guy but howard paul howard faces criticisms from lawmakers and the atlanta police officers union for his decision to charge garrett rolf and officer devin brosnan in the shooting of uh of brooks says that howard was you know he says that he was just doing his job and that they had enough evidence to move forward and they're not going to wait for anybody which i agree i mean we watched the video I thought it was pretty clear. You can't shoot a drunk guy in the back when he's running away from you. He's not a threat anymore. You chase him. You call a helicopter. You call backup. But you don't fire two rounds in, the, in his back and just say, oh, he deserved it because he had a taser, which was already discharged. There was no active canister on the end of that thing. So is it a deadly weapon? No. Should the ops, uh, cops have known that that was no longer a threatening weapon? Yeah, but they shot him anyway, or the one officer shot him anyway. Now, you know, we've got uh, Paul Howard, I think, is probably a little bit in over his head. You know, he's, he, he's coming out now and saying that he believes there should be a national law that every police officer, so on and so forth, or anybody in contact with civilians should be required to wear and operate a body camera and utilize dash cameras. So that was his statement in response to his decisions in the Rayshard Brooks case. Well, hello. They all did have body cameras on and dash cameras on, and they still shot and killed the guy. So what the hell is that going to do for anybody? Nothing. It's not going to do anything. These guys still operate with impunity. They still think that they're above the law. They know they're being recorded, but they don't care. Officer Rolf knew he was being recorded. They, were, they, they do the field sobriety test in front of the car, in front of the dash camera, so it's all being recorded. They knew it's being recorded, the whole fight and everything. And... He still decides to pull his gun and shoot the guy. 
I covered that at length last week. I don't need to get into it about them throwing a temper tantrum because they just got their butts whooped, uh, two of them, by one guy. And, uh, you know, they decided to also throw a little temper tantrum and, and fire their gun. Unfortunately, it killed the guy. So good news is that they have been charged. We're going to follow along on that. But uh, that's the update on Ray Shard Brooks.